Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruchentest oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moin and welcome to this Anaya episode. Now, in this episode, discover the different question words in Luxembourgish and dive a little deeper into Luxembourgish grammar. So, although the Luxembourgish question words can be used similarly to the English ones, there are still some confusing issues when it comes to forming questions in Luxembourgish. But don't worry, once you get the hang of their structure and learn the basics of creating Luxembourgish sentences, the process will become pretty straightforward. And, very important, the more you practice, the quicker you are you will master the usage of Luxembourgish question words. And to make your learning journey a bit easier, I have prepared this short yet comprehensive um, episode, so guide. Hmm? Explore the Luxembourgish question words today and learn the basics how to use them. Let's get started with the question word that. That. The question word that is one of the most commonly used words in Luxembourgish for asking questions. In most cases, it replaces the English word what. So what is that in most of the cases in Luxembourgish? Let's have some example. Um, how would you say what is this? That as that. That as That meaning what is this? And more naturally, wa das dat? Or how would you say, what did you do today? So you start like in English with the question word, so wat? Wat hust du haut gemach? Wat hust du haut gemach? So what did you do today? Or how would you say, what do you cook this evening? This is easy. So you start again with wat. Wat kochst du den Oven? Wat kochst du den Oven? So you may, you have maybe noticed that after wat comes the verb. Wat as dat? Wat hust du? Wat kochst du? Okay? Good. The second question word is wien. Wien. The question word wien is used to ask about someone and is equivalent to the English word who. Whenever you want to say who, you would say in Luxembourgish wien. Listen carefully again for the pronunciation. Wien. Beispiele, examples. Wienerstadt. Who is that? Wienerstadt. However, note that in conversations you are more likely to hear native speakers saying Wen instead of wien. Do you hear the difference? So wen instead of wien. Now there is no difference in meaning, just in the pronunciation. Okay. Um, very important also. So if your goal is to sit the Spruchentest in the upcoming future, the examiner in the oral exam is more likely to ask you wen as that instead of wien as that. Or for example, um, how would you say, or how would you ask someone, who did that? So, who did that? Either you can ask, wen hat dat gemacht? Or you can say, wen hat dat gemacht? Wen hat dat gemacht? Or to say, who saw the accident? You would say, wen hat den accident gesehen? 
or you can um, hear native speakers saying, wen hat den Accident gesehen? Wen hat den Accident gesehen? Okay, gut. Question word number three. Weini. Weini. Weini means when. And it is used to ask about the time of an event, whether something happens regularly or not, and how often something occurs. So it's just like in English, when, huh? Weini. Beispieler. Weini kannst du heim. Weini kannst du heim. This means, when are you coming home? Now I put you to the test. How would you say, when were you born? So, when is Veni, and were you born is Veni Bastu Gebur. Veni Bastu Gebur. Note here that we stay in the present tense for this question. Um, maybe a last question for you to translate. How would you say, when do you have time? Informal. This is, Veni Huestu Zeit. Veni Huestu Zeit. Okay, so again here with the question word, um, after the question word, you have the verb and then the subject. Veni kannst du, veni bast du, veni hörst du. Okay. Next question word, wo, wo. Wo is the Luxembourgish question word for where. It can be used to ask about the location of something, whether it is a physical place or an abstract one. Here are some examples. Heisen a poor Beispieler. For example, wo bast du grad? Wo bast du grad? Meaning, where are you just now? So grad means just now. Wo bast du grad? Oh, ah, that's an easy one for you to translate. How would you say, where do you live? Hopefully you've said, wo wohnst du? Or formal, wo wohnt dir? Hmm? Wo wohnst du? Informal, wo wohnt dir? Informal. And how would you ask uh, someone, where is the dog? So, easy. You start with wo, followed by the verb us and the dog is den Hund. Wo ist den Hund? Wo ist den Hund? Now, it can also be used as a relative pronoun. For example, ich weiß nicht, wo den Hund ist. So I don't know where the dog is. So here, wo is a relative pronoun. Let's repeat. Ich weiß nicht, wo den Hund ist. Have you noticed that the verb comes at the end of the sentence here? Doch ich weiß nicht, wo den Hund ist, because it's a subordinate clause. It's a, when you use a relative pronoun, you start in a subordinate clause, and then the verb comes at the end. Okay. However, asking where is not that simple in Luxembourgish. While in English, you just use one word for that purpose, so what? In the Luxembourgish language, there are three of them that can be used based on the context. Okay, so wo is used to ask where someone or something is. And then, fu wo, so listen carefully, fu wo, fu wo. So fu wo is used to ask where someone is coming from. So the, the accent here is in the direction towards the speaker. And so here we add the preposition fun, fun, but with the N rule, we will pronounce it fu, fu. So fu wo, where, from. Okay. For example, the examiner in the oral exam might ask you, where do you come from? So formal form. How would you ask this question? Where do you come from? This is, Fu wo kommt dir? Fu wo kommt dir? Formal. Hmm? Or how would you ask someone, where do you come from now? Formal as well. So, where do you come from now is, Fu wo kommt dir? Fu wo kommt dir? 
Okay. Um, a possible answer could be, ich komme von daheim. Ich komme von daheim, meaning I come from home. Okay. This is a question they ask in the oral exam for the, of the Spruchentast. And then, another variation of the question word wo is wohin. Wohin or wo. Wo. So, wohin and wo are synonyms. They both mean um, where to. Okay, so they are used to ask where someone is going. Okay, the accent is in the direction away from the speaker. For example, where are you going is wohi gehst du or wo gehst du. This is a direction, where to. And then we don't use wo, we use wohin or wo. Okay. Um, how would you ask me, where do you usually go on holiday? This is, wo gehst du normalerweise an die Vakanz? Or, wohin gehst du normalerweise an die Vakanz? And more naturally, With wohin, um, we will drop the N and then you will hear, wohin gehst du normalerweise an die Vakanz? Hmm? Or, for example, where do you go shopping? This is, wo gehst du Kommissionen machen? Or, wohin gehst du Kommissionen machen? So, remember uh, these um, three different different question words in Luxembourgish to ask where. So where is wo, where from is fu wo, and where to is wohin or wo. Great. Let's move on with the next question word. This is we. We. Okay. So this is where everything gets a bit more complicated. The Luxembourgish word we basically means how. But not always. It depends on the context. For example, you can use it uh, in basic how questions, the same as in English. For example, how are you? It's the most easiest one to remember. And you know the answer. How would you ask me informal? Hey, Anne, how are you? This is, Moenan, wie geht es? Wie geht es? So you have your wie, wie geht es? Or more personal, you can say, um, wie geht es dir? Wie geht es dir? How would you say, or how would you ask someone, how old are you? Informal. Hopefully you've said, wie alt bist du? Wie alt bist du? It's the literal translation from the English one. Wie alt bist du? And how would you ask me, informal, how do you go to work? This is, we gehst du schaffen? We gehst du schaffen? Okay. However, you will also use it as what in English in questions such as, um, what's the weather like? Okay, so here in Luxembourgish we say, We ast vierter. Now just remember it like this. It's we ast vierter. We ast vierter. Or to ask the time in Luxembourgish. So what time is it? We spät as it. We spät as it. So we tend to say how late is it? Okay. We spät as it. Or to ask someone what are you called? We would also use the word, the question word, we, we heest dir, we heest dir. Okay. So confusion arises because in Luxembourgish and English, the same idea is expressed differently. So when in English you'd ask, what's your name? Luxembourgish speakers would say, how are you called? Or what is the time? We say, how late is it? Even though translating the English phrase literally to Wat as deinum would be valid, it's more common to ask in Luxembourgish We heest dir, formal, or We heest du, informal. Or how is your name is We as deinum, We as deinum. 
Okay. Do you remember how to say what's the weather like? Yes, it's weas tvierda. Good. Let's move on with another question word, weifil. Weifil. Do you know what this means? Weifil. You know what means wei. This is how. And fil is much or many. So weifil means how much or how many. For example, um, also to ask the time, what time is it? You can ask in Luxembourgish, weifil awa Asset. Very few our asset. So you can answer the. Um, you can ask these questions in two different sentences. So, very spät asset or very few our asset. Mm, how to say how much juice do we still have? How much juice do we still have? So how much juice is very few jus? And pronounce it ju, ve fil ju, ve fil ju, hum mir nach, ve fil ju, hum mir nach. So, how much juice do we still have? Let me put you to, to the test. How would you say, how much does that cost? Ve fil kosht dat, ve fil kosht dat. Or to ask the time, you can also use ve viel hour as it? Ve viel hour as it? So what time is it? You can either say ve viel hour as it? Or do you remember uh, what was the other question word we can use? Yes, it's ve. Donc ve spät as it? So ve spät as it or ve viel hour as it mean the same. And we use we feel to talk both about uncountable nouns and about countable nouns. For example, how much cake do you want is we feel kuch willst du? We feel kuch willst du? Uh, and how many cakes did you eat? We also use the we feel nung we feel kuchen huis du. Yes. Okay. Remember this. We just keep the we feel for how many or how much. Let's summarize all the question words you have learned for today. Now, of course, there are many other question words, but these are the main ones which you will need for everyday life conversations. So I will ask, I will tell you the question word in English and you will say it in Luxembourg. So how do you say what in Luxembourgish? For example, what is this? Hopefully you've said what. Huh? What does that? Okay. How do you say who? For example, who is this? That is wen. So wen or wen. Okay. Then wen is that or wen is that? Do you remember how to say when? Yes, this is veni. Veni. Veni who has to zeit. And then let's come to the where. So to ask where someone is, which word would you use? Yes, this is just wo. Huh? Wo bast du? So where are you? Wo bast du? And uh, to ask someone where to, where to someone is going, you would use wohin or wo. Good. And uh, how would you ask someone come from? So where do you come from? I hope you remember to say fu wo, huh? fu wo kommt dir. And then we learned how to say how in Luxembourgish. Yes, we. We get that. We. And how much or how many? We feel. Great. Now, I know that Luxembourgish question words can be confusing at first, but with a little practice, you will get the hang of it. Hopefully, this overview of Luxembourgish questions will help you make things a bit clearer. And don't hesitate to listen again and again to this uh, episode. And with this knowledge under your belt, you are ready to start mastering the nuances of Luxembourgish grammar. So practice a little bit and don't be afraid to dive deeper into the language with us. And trust us, when you know the basics, dealing with 
everything else won't be too hard. And why not starting your Luxembourgish learning journey today and master in just eight weeks the basics of the language with our self-study online course A1 Foundation? You will find the link in the show notes. So, merci für no lauschtren. Thank you for listening. Bis next Woche. Adi. Thank you.